Hello everyone and welcome to another Red Hat integration video. Today we will be covering how to configure the service registry to use a PostgreSQL database as the persistent storage. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is uh, go to the operator hub search for Red Hat Integration Operator. At the end, you will see the Red Hat Integration Service Registry Operator. Click on that operator and then click on Install. Then you can select the update channel and we will be uh, installing in a specific namespace called Registry. So let's click on Install. It will take a couple of minutes to deploy the operator. Let's wait for a few seconds. This will deploy the service registry operator in our registry namespace and the custom resource definitions we need to deploy. So let's view the operator. And now it has been installed successfully. Let's switch to the developer view. And we are going to be adding from the database uh, catalog, the database for our persistence. So in this case, we will be using PostgreSQL. We can instantiate the template. We are going to be using the, the registry namespace the PostgreSQL service name, and we will be uh, creating the PG admin and the PG pass uh, for username and password. And we will create the registry uh, sample database. Let's click on create. And this will start to deploy the PostgreSQL database. It will take a moment for pulling the image, then starting the container, uh, checking that the uh, live proof and the readiness proof are uh, complete and it will turn uh, the blue circle from light uh, blue, darker blue, all the way to um, dark blue. So let's now add from the uh, catalog our AP Courier registry. So let's uh, select uh, operator backed uh, catalog and then we have the AP Courier registry uh, custom resource. Let's uh, click on create. And now we we'll switch to the uh, YAML view and we will be editing the name of this uh, resource to just uh, Apic Curio. And we will change the uh, default Kafka SQL configuration to remove this and then use the SQL persistence. Let's edit this one. And then we can start adding our uh, SQL configuration. Uh, the data source in configuration. For this, we need the URL from our uh, database. So it's JDBC, Postgres. And the service it's running on our Postgres UL, uh, dot registry, dot SBC, and the port 5432. And the name of the database is uh, registry. Now the uh, user name, it's a uh, PG admin, and the password it's uh, EJ pass. Okay, that's the only thing we need to configure our uh, database as storage for uh, the service range. So let's uh, click on create. And now it will start to deploy, uh, the operator will start to deploy uh, our uh, registry. And uh, we can uh, click on the uh, on the registry to check the pods and then view the logs. We can see that this registry is running uh, using Quarkus technology. And after a few uh, moments, we will see that the uh, registry started correctly. And you can see that it's using the SQL artifact store and that the database is up to date. Let's get back to the topology view and we will uh, be able to uh, log in into our uh, registry. So let's uh, open the URL and this will bring the uh, service registry main page where we can then upload artifacts 
uh, to our new registry. So let's click on upload. And here are some other new features of this uh, service registry 2.0, like group. And so we can now group our artifacts. Let's select group one, and then let's upload an open API specification. As you can see here, we can take a look at the preview uh, for the document that I just upload. And then let's call it this uh, Demeter API. And uh, service registry can auto detect the type of uh, file, but you can also check the different um, artifacts that uh, service registry can store. In this case, we are selecting open API and we can upload this file now. The uh, file is uploaded uh, successfully and we can check the uh, content and other features from the registry like checking the documentation and so on. Now everything is ready, use your new service registry using the SQL database persistent storage. I hope you liked the video and see you next time.